Hey everybody, this is Jonathan here with Texas Predator and Hall Gun. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the infrared zoom thermal binocular. This is something that's brand new to the industry as far as thermal technology. As far as I know, nothing else out there can do what this unit right here does. Here's your buttons for the top. Lens cap. Here's your focus ring. Eyepiece focus. Has a nice little handle here for your hand to go in. Um, here's your removable rechargeable battery and it does come with an extra battery. This thing has excellent battery life. It uses the same battery as the infrared Rico. I have a lanyard attached to it. I wear it around my neck. The very unique thing about this monocular is it has still having a digital zoom it has a low magnification with a wide field of view. And then you turn this knob and it refocuses everything to a higher magnification with the same image clarity at a higher magnification with a narrower field of view. So basically you're getting uh, two in one. Like where normal thermals you get a like one power magnification, two power magnification, or three power magnification. And it's not that way with this. You need to get a, it goes from like a 19 millimeter to a 35 millimeter, I believe is what they're calling it. And it has the same image quality on each setting. You just, all you have to do is just focus it and you turn this knob and it'll get blurry. Then you'll see it, the magnification change and then it'll just keep easing on it over and it'll, uh, refocus again which is something that's very new to the thermal industry i'm sure some point in time in the future they'll have a thermal rifle scope that has the same technology in it this thing has a really good image it's easy to operate runs off the infrared outdoor out just like the ricos do buttons are all pretty much set up the same way very nice unit like I said, the plus size of this is, it's like having two binoculars in one. You have a low magnification and a higher magnification in one unit. So if you're needing to look at something at three or 400 yards, you dial it over to the higher magnification. You just identify what it is. If you get in the woods where you need a lower magnification, where you can't see 40, 50 yards, dial it back down to the lower magnification. Then you have the wide field of view. And the battery life is fantastic on this thing. I'm getting anywhere from 10, 12, 14 hours out of one battery. I've used this thing on the last three hunts. It still has over half, pattern, half battery left on the meter. It'll go a long time when it's on low. But it does come with two batteries from infrared. The image quality is not quite as good as the image on like a Rico 640, but it's still, this is a 640 monocular. It still has a really good image, but it's not quite as good in my opinion as the Rico would be, but it's pretty close. And it's, all these buttons pretty much operate the same way. Internal recording, the battery life is awesome. Really, the only negative thing I can think of about this monocular is when you're looking through it, around the edges, come on, I'm looking through the eyepiece, around the edges, it's a little blurry around the edges when you're looking into it. And when you watch it on the videos, you don't see any of that, but you only see it when you look through the eyepiece. It doesn't really affect anything like the way if you're looking at something, unless you're, you're just looking at the very corner edges of it, it's, it's a little little fuzzy around the very edges where it's not quite focused. That's probably has something to do with the dual focus. It's not really an issue, but I'm just letting people know what I'm seeing through it. Um, it's pretty nice binocular. I mean, like I say, I would, it's like a two in one binocular. So you get the best of both worlds. You get low power and a high power magnification. That's, that's hard to beat right there.